Okay, could they grade 9? Today, we will draft a set in sleeve. So, when we say set in sleeve, this is the basic sleeve or the foundation of all kind of sleeve. So, mula sa set in sleeve or the foundation of sleeve, we can do different types of or kinds of sleeves. So, in drafting sleeves, we have the different tools and materials. So, first, we have a pattern paper here or a manila paper. We have a tape measure. So, tape measure we use in measuring. Then, distinguish where is the lower number to the higher number. Then, put tape measure around your neck for your easiest to use. And then, we have a French curve for curving the sleeve cup. And then, we have a... Tailored square or L square and constructing a straight line or perpendicular line. So now, what are the measurements needed in drafting a sleeve? So we have a sleeve length, we have an armhole circumference, and then we have an arm circumference. So what is the difference between armhole circumference and arm circumference? Pag sinabi natin armhole circumference, ang minimeasure niya, this one, yung circumference ng ating armhole. Why the arm circumference is the measurement of arm where the sleeve let fall. So, go. So, we can start. I know, before I forgot, we have a marker here. And in the using or in drafting a pattern, you, we, all, you, we will always use a pencil, not a marker. So, for this video, I will use a marker for the clarity or visibility of our pattern. So, let's start drafting a set in sleeve. So, first procedure is we need to make a construction line or construction line by tracing the outer edge of our L square. This is the short arm and then this is the long arm of the tailored square or L square. So, trace lang daw po na. Then, see outer edge ng ating tailored square or L square. So, trace it carefully. So, after tracing the outer edge of our L square, mark point A at the corner. So, we need to mark point A. So, after marking point A, we will use a tape measure and for the second step, or which is the point A to B or downward is the sleeve length. So, ang sleeve length po natin ngayon ay 6 inches. So, let's start from the 0 down to 6. So, point lang po natin. Yan. Where is the 6? Located here. Then, mark. Then, put letter B or point B. So, that's it. Our second step. The next step or the third one is point B to C. Upward. So, from point B to point C, 2 inches upward. So, 2 inches upward. This is point C. So, point E, B, and C is on a straight line downward from our point A. So, next, so we have point B and C now square across to the right point B and point C by using our L square. So, put the corner of our L square at the line or point B, then square across. Same as the point C. Okay. That's it. So, we across points, points B and C. So, the next step is from point B to point D is... One half measurement of our arm circumference. 
Okay. So, the arm circumference measurement po natin is 10 inches. So, half measurements, meaning, i-divide lang natin siya into 2. So, 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5. So, from point B to point D is a 5 inches. So, from point B to point D, 5. Then, mark this as point B. Okay, next. From point C to point E is one half measurement of armhole circumference less half inch. So, ibig sabihin, we do two operation. From point C to point E, the, the first thing to do is to divide into two our armhole circumference. So, if our, our armhole circu circumference is 12 inches, divided by into 2, so we have 6. So, 6 minus half inch equals to 5 and 1 half inch. So, be careful when dividing, subtracting, or adding a numbers. Okay po? To get the accurate measurement or exact amount or number that we needed in drafting a pattern. So, from point C to E is 5 and 1 half inch. So, this is our point E. See? Next. So, we have point D and E. What we gonna do next? So, from point A to point E, we connect it with a straight line. So, connect with a straight line using a ruler or any kind of measuring or drafting tools that have a straight edges. Okay. That's it. So, we measure on from line, from point A to E, we connect it with a straight line. So, now, get the measurement of line A, E. So, get that in the measurement from A to E using our tape measures. So, we have 6 and 3 fourths. So, when we measure point A and E, so we get 6 and 3 fourths. So, we divided into 4 sides. So, 6 and 3, 3 fourths divided by into 4. So, approximately, the measurement we get is 1.6. So, 1.6, 1 1.6, 1 1.6. Okay, then we divide it into 4. So, from this one, 1.6, 1.6, then another 1.6, and then 1.6. Okay, so equally divided. So, we have three points from line A and E. So, the first, we put point F. Next is point G. Next is point H. Okay. So, we have point F, G, and H. Inside of line A, E. Next. From point F, measure 3 fourth inch outward for our sleeve cup later. So, 3 fourth inch this one, this is point, if we have H, this is point I. Next. Okay, so from point G, it says is, then from point H to J is half inch. So half inch from, from from point H to J is half inch. This is our point 
Great. So now, we can make the armhole of front slip from, of, ano, connecting from point A, I, G, J, and E. Okay, we connect from point A, I, G, J, and E using a French curve. So we connect it. So we need to connect, slightly connect, or you may use a, or if you don't have a French curve, you may use connecting it by freehand, freehand connecting. So like that, then connect. Okay. So we have the front and hold and then we connect point E to be using a straight line. Point E to be using a straight line. So that's it. So we have our front arm hold or front part of our sleeve. Next to get the back arm hole using the same pattern so we get the midpoint of point g in each so this measurement is 1.6 get the midpoint of 1.6 this one this is the midpoint and this is the point so this is the point Okay, now, from point H downward or H to L, so we need to measure one fourth inch for our back arm bowl. So one fourth inch, this one, this is point L. Okay, so a little bit, point H to L is one fourth inch. To curve the back arm hole, we connect point I, point K, point L, and E using a broken line. But we need to use our French curve also. So we do it. Or we use a French curve by making a broken line. Okay, next. This one. Okay, so that's it. So we have our sleeve. So as you can see. So that is our sleeve this is the front sleeve from point a c b d e j g i back to a then our box box sleeve is from point a b c d e l k i back to point a so, when we cut it that, it should be put it in a center fold. So, mark this a center fold symbol to identify or locate the center fold of our sleeve. So, I have here an example or a finished product of a sleeve. So, as you can see, this one. Okay. So, this is the front. The front arm hole, which is yung medyo malalim, or yung mas curver siya, rather than the back portion of our sleeve. So, when you open that, it's like that. So, this part is the front, and this part is the back part of our sleeve. So, it's easily to determine where is the front part, and which is the back part of our sleeve. So, that's it. So, I hope you learned today on how we draft a set and sleeve or basic sleeve. So, 
you are now ready to do your performance task in this week. Okay? So, if you learn, you may also like, share, and comment. On, or put a comment sa comment section. Kung mas naiintindihan, kung hindi, ask me for more clarification. And then, don't forget to support. Just put, uh, just click the subscribe button on our YouTube channel. So, thank you then. Have a great day.